Hare Krishna. Krishna's mercy enables us to find Him and to find Him fulfilling. So this title is an example of Zhugma. Zhugma is a literary device in which two different meanings of the same word are used. Find in the sense of searching an object and find in terms of ex the mode of experience. So first find refers to understanding that Krishna is the ultimate goal of life and second find refers to uh, relishing uh, our devotional connection with him. So uh, now let's look at the content. Krishna's mercy enables us to find him. The world we live in is actually like a maze. You know, there are so many different uh, options that are before us of what we can do, of how we can live, what we should become. The society pro pro presents us so many glamorized stereotypes. This is how you should become. This is how you should become. This is how you should become. And amid this bewildering array of options, it's so easy to get lost. So it is Krishna's mercy that enables us to find a way out of this maze of material existence, to know what is the ultimate goal of life and to know what is the means to that goal. Sad, sadhya and sadhana. So the um, by Krishna's mercy we understand that the sadhya is Krishna himself. That he is the ultimate goal of life. That it is only by learning to love him that we will become truly happy. And sadhana is the means. We understand that practicing bhakti yoga, the path of devotion, is itself the best means to attain him. So now when we find Krishna that is not that is not the end of our journey that is actually the end of the beginning of our journey the beginning of the journey is to first find know the goal and to know the destination otherwise we are simply aimlessly and helplessly lost but after we know the goal and we know the path then we have to traverse the path that means we have to practice bhakti yoga del determinedly diligently so and to persevere in the path of bhakti, we need to find Krishna fulfilling. Uh, that is, we need to gain satisfaction while we are practicing bhakti yoga. If we don't find Bhak Krishna fulfilling, then we will lose him because we will become disheartened. We will give up the practice of bhakti and return back to worldly enjoyment. So how can we find Krishna fulfilling? That is also by his mercy. It is by his mercy that we get taste in devotion, taste in remembering him, in serving him. And the Bhagavad Gita talks about those who have got such taste, they become ananya manaso. Their mind doesn't go anywhere apart from Krishna because they found taste in Krishna. And 9.13 in the Gita says, Mahatma Anastuma Partha Daivim Prakriti Mashritaha Bhajantya Ananya Manaso Gyatva Bhuta Dimavayam so Mahatma Anastuma Partha those so, so souls of Partha or Arjuna, they are Mahatmas. What is the characteristic? Daivim Prakritima Ashritaha Ashritaha. They have taken shelter of whom? Daivi Prakriti, of my divine nature. It refers to the internal energy of Krishna and especially the pleasure potency within the internal energy. That is Srimati Radha Rani, who is the Ladhini Shakti, who is the personification of devotion and the reservoir of all devotional joy. And what happens when one takes shelter of her? Bhajanti Ananya Manaso by her mercy we get such satisfaction, such fulfillment that Ananya Manaso that the mind doesn't go anywhere else. Gyatva Bhuta Dimavayam we also philosophically understand that actually Krishna is imperishable. He has no beginning and no end. He is the source of everything. So now how do we take shelter of Radharani of, of the Daivi Prakriti and how do we get the mercy, the absorption? So that is described in the next verse. 9.14 says Tatatam kirta yantomam yatantascha drudavrataha yatantascha drudavrataha One should endeavor with determination So by striving determinedly we show our sincerity to Krishna to Radharani and then they bestow their mercy upon us Now we may feel that my determination is very weak and that's why I need mercy So if I need determination to get mercy uh, but then Without mercy, I don't get determination. Where is the beginning for this then? 
No, actually, we can't say that we don't have any determination. Whatever little determination we have, we use that to serve Krishna. And to the extent we serve Krishna, He will bless us with more and more determination. He will give us taste. If, when Krishna sees our sincerity, it's not that Krishna wants to hold Himself back. When Krishna sees that we are, with, to the best of our capacity, trying to serve Him, trying to love Him, trying to remember Him, then He becomes very happy with us. Becomes pleased with our efforts, and as he says in 4.11, he thamam prapadyante. As people surrender, he rewards accordingly. So he reciprocates with our sincerity by blessing us with satisfaction. He gives us, reveals himself, gives us taste, and thereby we find him fulfilling. Thank you. Hare Krishna.